it seems like we are back in the Cold War, War era and it shows in the economy. I will be discussing the unfolding crisis in Crimea and the global economic situation with Oliver Rakow of Deutsche Bank Research. Mr. Rakow, you are looking at the numbers each, each month. Um, what do the numbers uh, tell you about the March? What, how did the DBEX develop? The DBEX was stable and uh, the stable on a pretty solid level actually uh, and was driven uh, by an improvement uh, in the United States. On the other hand, uh, in Germany or Europe, uh, the uh, indicators we are looking at uh, actually fell a bit. Uh, not bad, but also not great. And in Japan, the final uh, part of the DBX, uh, the index actually uh, increased a bit and so far a solid result for March, but not spectacular. What's causing the decline in Germany? Um, that's difficult uh, to assess right now. Um, we are hesitant to uh, um, put it uh, onto Russia and the Ukrainian crisis. It's possible that it's included in uh, the uh, deterioration in these sentiment indicators. However, uh, so far we would still judge it to be uh, due to seasonal factors. We had a very mild winter and now we have some normalization of sentiment data and so far we are not really concerned yet in that uh, regard. How could the current uh, conflict with Russia affect the global economic upswing? What do you think? Well, um, it really depends on how far sanctions uh, are going from the United States and from Europe. Um, currently, at least, uh, the sanctions are not materially enough to really affect uh, global growth. Um, only if uh, a lot more sanctions uh, would be uh, put in place or if uh, Russia, for example, would stop uh, exporting oil or gas. Uh, these are scenarios that would actually affect the global economy, but we are not really seeing that right now and so far. Um, it might weigh a bit on global growth, um, but the question is if it's really um, calculable um, how much that is. In addition to this conflict with Russia, there's another serious th threat in Europe, it's deflation. So um, the prices and the demand um, could be lower and lower. So what do you think? Is this uh, really something that um, could threaten the European economy right now? It's a real threat, that's uh, true. It's a risk uh, we have right now in Europe, um, but we would still judge it to be a, a low risk. Uh, not a lot of certainty around that uh, and especially given the fact that the decline in prices we are currently observing uh, is largely driven from uh, external factors. If you look, if you try to avoid this, uh, looking at the energy prices and food prices, if you uh, take that out of the development, actually prices have been stable over the last couple of months on a low level, that is true. So there is a risk, um, but we would still judge it to be um, relatively low, um, but we have to look at the next couple of months. Okay, thank you so far, Mr. Rakow. And we will talk about this topic further on. Nightmare deflation is, Euro this is the European economy um, threatened. So you can watch the full interview on dw.de slash English slash made in Germany.